It's me, Mario! There was... Oh. You want to just switch spots? Okay, I was gonna say. Just switch spots. <laughs> there was a... Are we recording? Yep. You sure? Yep. Not seeing levels. Recording. That's on the uh, that's on the uh, radio microphone. That's on there. Oh, so you sure it's getting it then? Yep, that's a mic podcast one. Okay. Oh, there we go. That, that helps a lot better. Okay. So I'd like to do that. Where it be? There it be. Okay. Cool. Anyways, so yeah, there was a uh, uh, couch co-op. Me and Kaylee found a game a little while back. It's called Outward, which um I wouldn't mind suggesting it, but it is a very... Uh, it is an engaging game that just takes everything from you. Kind of like Diablo? I guess. I never played Diablo. Like, it, it takes a lot of time to do anything. If you die, you actually need to survive that. You get just stranded out in the middle of nowhere with nothing, no armor that you had, no weapons. It is just, it is just brutal beyond comparison. It's just, yeah, I don't really like art. Sorry about that. Cause and and she liked it too, and I was like, yeah, I guess, but it's just really, I like we could try and figure out how to play Minecraft together and. That would be a lot better. It would run a lot smoother. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I mean, just like, I want something. <sighs> you, play through, you level up as you get. You level up. You get better. You get better. You, you, you survive. Better. It's not like. Shoot the bad guy. No, no, no. Not what I'm it's, like, it's not like, okay, if I level up, player one levels up two, or player two levels up. It's like it's different based on how you do the experience. That way, it's like okay, it's actually kind of fair. So most of these co-op games, at least the older ones, I'm always seeing it's like okay, they get pretty much pretty close to who's got more experience, maybe a little bit more, but not much. Hmm. It's not drastic. And then when someone does all the work, that person just like okay, let me fight two bad guys. You take on the boss, and those are five bad guys. <laughs> and then you, we both get the same amount of experience. Right. Just that way, one's not overpowered. The you know, other's like that's not really like. Uh, have you ever played uh, one of the games that did, didn't do that and did very well? It's kind of like a cult classic called uh, Tales of Symphonia. Have you ever heard of it? It's, no. It's a uh, story-based RPG. We're playing as Neil, and it's kind of like Pokemon, where you get these monster friends to help you. But it's not really two player because one time it is two player is when you're battle, and you can take control of your player, of your other players that you've met. It's kind of like an anime game, sort of. Mm. It's a very long game. It's fun, but it's not really co-op. Like the other player gets to walk around. Right. Uh oh. <laughs> it, it's the team and T. Oh my goodness. It's the. Yeah, it's a rip-off, I see. Oh, for sure. You know, this was... This was the early 2000s. They needed to, they needed to shove as much as they could. Here come the Coop Bros. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Even Bowser's is just like, are you kidding me? What are these guys going to do? Shop. Huh. I watch a series while swimming up one. It's called Pokemon Randomizer. It's where you build through the whole game Pokemon, except all the Pokemon you get are randomized. So other yes. You ever seen that? I I've heard a bit about it. I don't think I've actually. I've Which never done. Interested in doing a series like that? Because I think that'd be a lot of fun. That'd be sure. like a side by side. Yeah. Oh goodness. Sorry. Oh, very fun because it's easy to game game capture on your own laptop. But it just depends on what, depending on the game that we pick. So. Oh! Oh! I always liked. Because I would just stop right here and just let them keep doing whatever, and just. Bowser's still just like. Oh! Oh! And they just keep doing whatever they're doing off screen. Oh. oh goodness. Like, I would want to mind if one day we did a rock band or guitar hero walk through. Oh, that'd be fun. Serious, but the only thing is, though, we'd have to, I think we need like a webcam. I actually see it playing. Or else you just literally just like watching the screen of people hitting buttons. Right. That would be interesting. I'm not. I thought of something like that really long time ago, but yeah. I know there was a, uh, I know, I mean, like the Super Mario Bros, they've introduced two-player, but uh, my pastor, yeah, they did. My pastor and his wife actually played, and uh, they got some, as he calls it, intense fellowship because of it, <laughs> because Why? Pastor it... Dave, he wanted to just do all the, get through the level as quickly as possible. Well, his wife, Pastor Kate, just wanted to collect all the items that you're supposed to collect, or you, that you can't collect throughout mm -hmm. the level. So they kept constantly... <laughs> each other's like, come on, let's get Can this we, done! No, like, no, no, I want to get this! So, oh, yeah. So. Sleep. My job here is like, she wants to look at everything, and Mia's like, okay, let's get through this. Because <laughs> there's so much more to go. It's like, well, I want to see... No, there's something like up in the trees here. It's like, no, there's yeah, the trees. There's That's something wrong. in the trees. Let me get it. Because look, treasure. <laughs> if you didn't do that, you wouldn't get the treasure. If I can open up the treasure, there we go. I got, when I first started playing Oblivion, Oblivion was was uh, Elder Scrolls game I was introduced to. Oh, really? I would walk by stuff, and I wouldn't see it. Like, chess, gold, mm -hmm. and my buddy Lucas who introduced me to it, but yell at me. He's like, dude, you just walked past a freaking <gasps> chest. It's like, what am I supposed to know? To be fair, th again, that's kind of one of the things I was meaning by, like, retroactive gaming through franchises, but, like, with Skyrim, you know, yeah, a lot of people are just like, oh, yeah, veteran players, we play Skyrim, but, like, if you play games, if you play the Elder Scrolls games that are older than Skyrim, Skyrim just seems so hand-holdy. Like, because it's just the ma it's just the fact of like in Skyrim you can uh, even as far as combat you can just walk into a room and on most difficulties you can just slog through it and it's fine. But unless, like unless like, like you want it, then uh, that might be an issue. Maybe. Right, but then that's a whole other thing. But like in Oblivion, I don't have any mods that you know up combat or anything. Yeah. I don't mess with the actual combat itself, like the combat difficulty. And even then, like, I'm still dying in Oblivion quite frequently, as opposed to, like, in Skyrim. I don't die hardly ever, and it's just like, oh my goodness. And that's another thing with Oblivion versus Skyrim. Like, a, a lot of things in Skyrim help you level up faster. Uh -huh. Like, immediately throughout in the beginning of the game, they're like, here's this thing. You want to be this? Okay, this thing gets you good at this thing. But there is nothing like that in Oblivion. 
gosh, it's the Neck Luigi. <laughs> Neck Luigi. Luigi. Oh my goodness. Where's Doodle Bob? Where's oh his God. Where's his chin? He doesn't have a chin. He just has a neck that just morphs into his Thanks. his like lip mustache. My goodness, sir, are you okay? And your nose. Your nose is your nose is as big as both of your eyes. His nose is as big as his face. Just about. And why is Mario's name just on the house? Why is it not Mario and Luigi? I think what was Luigi established as a character in Mario Bros? Uh I think always. Like well, cause okay, so they are out as Mario and Donkey. Right, that was like the OG. That is the original of anything. And then it came to Mario Bros. So then that's what up, Mario Bros. Duh. So yeah, he had to be. It's like you're gonna see Waluigi walking around. Right. <laughs> or Wario. Well, but again, what's Wait, the... no, Super Mario though. Super Mario was first, then Super Mario Bros. came out. Yeah, what's the one where like you gotta you're in the the tunnel systems, the piping, and you've gotta hit platforms up to knock enemies over because that that's the next mean, one next. you know what i'm talking about though and uh, mario nice to meet you hello uh, yeah you're right but well, yeah you know, that was early on but i think it's mainly featured mario except i call paper mario not paper, paper mario luigi all right time, isn't luigi in super mario sunshine but i don't advertise luigi uh... And Mario is also in Luigi's Mansion, but it's not featured as a Mario because I think it's just the main character. Right, and that definitely and was I don't the see whole. Playing as Luigi, or else I'm saying, why isn't it two player? Another Mario game that should be two player because Luigi's in it. Like if... actually in this one, not Super Mario 64. If... But, uh... but yeah, Luigi's Mansion especially that was like the first time Nintendo was like, huh, he's got a brother. Shouldn't we, like, do something about that? I think the fan base, like, calling for it. It's like, okay, get, we're, we're tired of the fat red plumber. Right, so right, right, skinny, right. But then eventually, yeah, plumber. Nintendo eventually was like, well, okay. And then also, uh, I played and this. And Wario got his own games. Wario oh, yeah. Rush. Wario's games were kind of interesting. I played a couple. Nothing really stuck, though. But what person's ever gotten a game by himself is Bowser. Bowser's like... Just well known as Mario, pretty much. Because when you think yeah. of Mario, you think of like the big bad, who's the big bad always. Right. Awesome. Well, there are some games you get to have him like in a party setting, which I think is really cool. Yeah, like Mario Party, where you can play as Bowser or uh, well, Tennis or the Off Ramp. Well, no, 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 no. I'm meaning like, uh, what was it like the original Mario RPG? Uh, the the seven stars or something like that. Like you get to have Bowser in your party. Um, uh, I think it's uh one of the uh the 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 Yoshi story or Yoshi's, Yoshi's Island, Island yeah. where you also get to have baby Bowser. Um, yeah, there's a couple. Most of them are like RPG and large platformer based kind of stuff Maybe because you crave knowledge that only my intellect can provide then how about this so it is told that far away at the very top of the sky there is just a star hey more stars make their home okay. See, I'm pretty sure if you actually played uh, continue with Lego Star Wars like you and me would have the same thing my pastors would have like, where you just want to mess around with black things, I just want to get through the level. Right, like, I do want to get everything, because that's where all the things are. You, I want to get a good score. With me, I just like, okay, let's get through this, and then we'll do that. Because, Sorry. Because, you know, when you're done with the episodes, these are still free play, where you can just walk around and just do that all the time. <laughs> so I was like, okay, we can, we can do that later. That's what my mind goes to, but... You and Jordan just like, nope, we're just going to do this now. Just walk around. And... <laughs> well, I guess also, too, that comes from, like, before, that wasn't really an option. Like, if, if there was a secret, if there was a thing in a game that you needed to get, 
you needed to get it right then and there because if it, you, you moved on, that was it. That you, it, level's over. You can't do it anymore. And I was just like, oh goodness, I gotta find everything. Yeah, I've been burned like that a couple times. Yeah. Pokemon games are then ones who really got me with that. You can tell, uh, oh, think, yeah. okay, I'm good. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh yeah, you need this thing. It's like, but I don't have it. Where <laughs> is it? And you have to go all the way back. And start. Mm -hmm. like, okay, I did this first. Ooh. Oh, they're not done. Aren't you a customer? Hey, what's up? But start a little shop. Yeah, I like games that definitely do reward you for exploring and having because because that's part of the that's part of the experience. Right, that and just storytelling, environmental storytelling of like, you know. No one needs to say anything. No one needs to put, you know, exposition down your throat of like, here's this thing you go, you need to do. Here's this thing that's super important. It's like, no, here's this event, and no one's saying anything, but you understand what's happening. Do you remember? Uh, were you a big fan of uh, Harry Potter? Did you watch that? Uh, yeah, it definitely. As far as the movies, like, um... What is going on here? Uh, maybe it's later. I, th there's a point where, like, you, you bug him so much, literally, and it's like, you progress, I forget. I, I, I need to go do something first. Um, but the reason I'm asking is about Harry Potter, because I actually have Lego Harry Potter through the whole, all, like, the whole series. Ah. So I was thinking, well, I mean, there's something we could do as a co-op. Yeah, that wouldn't be, I would like that. And it's kind of linear, it's not as big, Wh obviously, as Lego Star Wars and Big Saga. Like, where you can just go, just, like, there's an entire galaxy for you to explore. But, like, it's kind of linear where it's like, hey, like you just said, you know, if you don't have this thing, you can't continue. So right. Like, you get everything. But it's not so big. It's like, okay, I'm never gonna find this. It's just one huge thing. Mm -hmm. so, maybe something we're trying. I don't know. Just the couch club. Like games are like really well known, and the games are good because they're branded with like big names. Like, okay, I'm I feel safe trying. Not like uh, my brother and I. I don't know if you ever played the Resistance games. No. I I don't know. That didn't ring yeah, a bell. Um, they're like strictly for like PlayStation Three. Um, <laughs> Here we are. Here's yeah. Peach's castle. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's literally ripped out of the earth. It was, it was just here a little while ago. But, like, uh, my brother and I will play that because it was co-op where you and player two could go throughout the story through one, two, and three. I don't think, we never played three, but one, two, we had a lot of fun playing that because you just, that's an alien invasion uh, alien, like, a disease sort of thing, where aliens try to take over the world, then they bring, like, a disease with them that makes people sick and turn into the aliens. Hmm. So you gotta try to shoot them all, but not try to get, them, get too close. So, like, and then, like, the main character, the big twist is, you know, I'm gonna, in case we ever do that, I'm yeah, maybe say, don't. I'm not gonna say what happens, what the big twist is, but, um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun playing it, so, so did my brother. But, um, so that's all right. It's like something like that, where it's like you just come along instead of just, you know, wish. Like I love, I love, well done games that like Breath of the Wild. I love oh, games yeah. that like uh, Skyrim. But if you can make something like that with two player, imagine Skyrim is two player. Oh, there oh, is. There's a mod now. Yeah, it's not even a mod. It's like a Bethesda sponsored way of playing the game. It's like... It, You're it, bold, Jive. I am not. Stop, Look stop it up. It. Look it up. I say stop. <sighs> Looking this up for you. Because you ain't... Recording. While we're recording, <laughs> you know, you don't really have to put it in here. Yeah, that's okay. No, I just remember to cut it out. I just use it. to say, here, look how long this video is. <laughs> I was saying that we need to stop play some Skyrim if that's the truth. Oh, yeah. I'll be down for that. 
And I'm be very surprised oh, yeah. how utility at the bottom. It is a mod. Okay, so it's a mod like okay, let's say I get the game tomorrow. Mm hmm I mean I have the game. Yes, but you don't have it for like you can't cross platform, can we? So to see if it's cross platform. Yeah, I don't know how that Because that's what it had to be, kinda of like to be like Minecraft story though. And then we're, we run into We're gonna need to do some Because remember how we can't talk? Right. PlayStation now on Xbox because it had that capability. For Minecraft, pretty sure I'll the same thing for Xbox. I mean, by all means, Jack, make sure it's cross platform because if it is, I can easily get onto Skyrim for like 12 bucks these days. Oh, yeah. Which is crazy. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah, I don't. You might have to. Let's do. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's what had to happen. I'd have to. You'd have to bring the PS4 over. For us to get your audio and your game footage. I don't know how that would work. Because if we can make it side by side, that'd be awesome. Game over! Alright. We'll be right back.